I'm John Smith, I'm an artist filmmaker. I've made about 60 films now. Slowly move the trailer to the left, and I want the little girl to run across now. Hold that trailer there. Now, move the trailer off. Well, I was actually born in Walthamstow. I was in Leytonstone from 82 to 2003. It was from here that I first saw it. Its crest protruding over the roofs on the other side of the road. Surprised that I hadn't noticed it before, I wondered what it was and then forgot about it for several weeks. So I got a short life, uh, what was supposedly short life, out artist's housing association, four bedroom house, uh, which was in a real state, but it was a four bedroom house uh, for rent initially, I think of 60 pounds a month. And I was given a house in Colville Road, Leytonstone, which was on the route of the proposed M11 link road uh, and told that maybe I'd have like a year and a half in Leytonstone. And having lived in the house for a very short time, I realized that there was a big protest against the road. Uh, that went on initially through local residents, through legal channels, uh, and later on uh, the protest went on to people coming in and taking direct action, cementing themselves into the buildings and building uh, tree houses in the, across the street and things. Uh, I was told originally I'd have like maybe a year and a half, two years before I had to move out of the house, uh, and I ended up living there for I think 13 or, 14, 13 or 14 years before I finally got evicted and the house got demolished and the road sadly got built. Kill the spiders. Blight films the, the destruction and dereliction of houses. But it's only at the very end of the film that you realise what the real context for that was. I, I was more interested in sort of broader issues of memory and loss when I was filming. like to show blight at the beginning of the program so people are aware that I can actually make films. <laughs> I deliberately made Home Sweet as, as, as three very long takes with a handheld camera with me filming and talking at the same time. Uh, Home Sweet is deliberately very very rough and ready and raw. I lived in this house for much longer than I expected to so over that period of time, the house, which had never been in great condition when I moved in, turned into a complete slum. Occasionally we'd have that revelation when somebody was coming around who hadn't been there before, thinking, oh God, this is really embarrassing that I live here. At that time, a new program on television called Changing Rooms started, which was all about home improvements. And, that, and of course, we have lots of programs like that now. And I thought, I'm going to make a film where I'm completely in denial about the horror of the place where I live, and I'm going to talk about it with pride. Hmm. Well, actually, this carpet, this carpet is actually only about five years old. I can't even believe it to look at it, but uh, that's all it is. I don't know what it is. It's, uh, it's something happens with me and carpets. This is the third one I've had since I've lived here. My work basically comes out of my direct experience and my, my immediate environment. And I think actually, because a lot of my films that are made over that time are really about the constancy of change. I think indirectly that sort of stuff fed in because I was sort of insecure about what I was going to do when I got thrown out of my house. It's a long time ago now, it's probably, must be what, uh... 10, 11 years, 11 years ago, and uh, she was leaving anyway, and she was leaving, she was on the stairs, and uh, 
we were both on the stairs and uh, I was kneeling down in front of her and I was, um, she was leaving me and I was begging her not to go and I said, please don't go. And uh, she was saying to me, God, let's stop it, you know, this is, you're pathetic, you know, stop, to stop it, it's really embarrassing. And uh, that's right, actually, I was, <coughs> I was pathetic. I don't know how many people know this, but the building of the M11 Link Road was actually illegal under European law. There was no environmental impact assessment done. Uh, and I think the Department of Transport realised if they'd done an environmental impact assessment, it would not have actually been able to be built. That's why it's called the M11 Link Road and not a, not a bit of motorway, because that law applies to motorway. Now, the M11 Link Road, although it's three lanes in either direction <laughs> and looks exactly like a motorway, because it's called a link road, it doesn't actually have to, um, they didn't actually have to do an environmental impact assessment. The case was lost in the courts, but the thing that was very clear was that towards the end, people came in and took direct action, concreted themselves into the basements, built tree houses, did all of this stuff, caused an amazing amount of media attention, which of course we'd never got through league, we never got through, you know, the sort of the conventional channels, and actually changed the um, general attitudes to things. I think, and it was very, very important. So I. I think it's of course good to try and challenge things in the courts. Direct action is also a really, really perhaps much more effective thing that we have now. Whenever I go on a demonstration, I wish I saw, there were more people there, and especially with the terrible things that we're confronting at the moment that people should be addressing. <laughs> Spiders.